Hey there. RefWorks is an online management tool for references and creating bibliographies. Now you use this management tool for references and creating bibliographies. Now you use this from your preferred database. You import references that you're using to work on a paper or that you want to refer to later and you want to be able to cite these in a bibliography according to different formats. Now there are lots of tutorials out there and other tools to learn how to use RefWorks as I've linked a few in the description below. In order to know which databases you do have access to, you should contact your local library or your school library and they will be able to tell you which databases they have access to and whether or not they subscribe to RefWorks. They will also give you your group code that will allow you to log in and gain access to RefWorks. You do have to create a user account but it's free if your institute subscribes to it. Your local library is also the place where you're going to go to get the support you need. The staff and the librarians there know best which databases they subscribe to, how to navigate through them, and if they subscribe to RefWorks, then they will also be the ones that can offer the best support for that institution. But you probably already know this. You're probably watching this video because you want to know what users spend most of their time doing in RefWorks, like the title suggests. What users spend most of their time doing in RefWorks, this is what it looks like when you log in, are three things. They manage their folders, they import references, and they create bibliographies. Now I wanted to go through each of these kind of in sequence in the way that the user would experience them. This is what it looks like once you have entered a group code, created your account and logged in. One of the first things you're going to want to do is create a folder. So you will create your new folder and you will name it appropriately. Okay, now one thing that you can do whenever you have your folder here is you can come in and you can rename your folders, you can clear them, you can delete them. Now that you have a folder, it's time to log in to your library, go to your preferred database, and gather your resources. Every library and database probably has a different route of access to import references into RefWorks, so you will want to familiarize yourself with your institution's databases and use their method of access. I want to cover several of the more popular methods to import references into RefWorks. I want to cover Google Scholar, WorldCat, JSTOR, Academic Search Premier, and EBSCOhost. Each of these tools or databases have slightly different methods of access, navigation, and methods of importation. Now for simplicity's sake, I only am going to import from one of them, but I will show you several. And the first one I want to show you is Google Scholar. It requires a Gmail account, and you go into your Scholar Preferences, and you just tell it that you want to activate the Import into RefWorks option. You click Import to RefWorks, and it prompts the RefWorks login. Next, I want to cover WorldCat which is a unionized catalog that has over 71,000 participating libraries, so any search you conduct is likely to result in plenty of hits. You create your free account, you log in, you create a list, and you import the references that you find using their search function, and you go into the citation view, and from the citation view you are able to choose your citation style, and export to RefWorks. Next I want to cover JSTOR. It's a database that requires a subscription from your participating institute, but you can create your own personal login to save your references in their, in their database for later retrieval. Once you have conducted your search, you select the items that you want, and you go up and you export the citation into RefWorks. 
To conclude this section on importing references from different databases, I want to cover two more databases. Academic Search, Premier, and EBSCOhost. But I also want to show you what it looks like through different institutions. In OSU Tulsa, once you have conducted your search, you have your results, you select the records that you want the references for, and you export directly to RefWorks. EBSCOhost through OU is slightly different. What you do here is you conduct your search, you find the items that you want to cite, and you add it to the folder. You can create your own user account for free and save this folder list, or you can just add to folder, add to folder, conduct another search, add to folder. You can go to that folder, select all of the items that you want to export and export. I'm actually going to do this one for you. I'm going to go ahead and remove them from the EBSCOhost folder. Directly export them to RefWorks. As you can see, it's prompting me for the login, so I'm going to log in. And it will import my references, showing progress, and it's done. And from this point, you go back into your RefWorks, and we are back into the folder management stage. It automatically puts all of your stuff in the last imported folder. So these are the references that I just imported. And what I'm going to want to do is I am going to want to move them. So I'm going to select all on the list, or I could just select the page, and I'm going to put them in my new folder. One thing that RefWorks does once you put them in your folder is they're still in the last imported folder. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to select all of the page and remove from the folder. You don't want to delete them. This permanently deletes them from the database. So just remove them from that folder and then we can go and view and further organize our references from here. Once you have your references that you want to cite, it's really easy to create a bibliography, which is the final step. You have your output style here, which is several different output styles. I'm choosing Chicago, the 15th edition author date system. And you have the file type that you want to create it in. I usually create it in Word because that's probably what I'm writing my paper in anyways. Now I get to choose where I want, which references I want to cite. I can choose all my references or a reference from a folder. That's what I'm going to choose this time. And you create the bibliography. It's a really simple tool and it'll download automatically. You can open it and this is what your output looks like. You can enable editing. At this point you're going to want to look through here and make sure that it's in the style format that you are supposed to have it in, that you have periods and your commas all in place. It takes data from the databases and inputs them into the fields provided by RefWorks. If those fields have been input correct incorrectly, then it will output incorrectly. So you're going to want to look through this closely to make sure that everything is the way that it's supposed to look in the style format that you are wanting to use. And that concludes this short tutorial on what you spend most of your time doing in RefWorks. We have covered folder management, importing references from Google Scholar, WorldCat, JSTOR, Academic Search Premier, and EBSCOhost. We have come back to RefWorks. We have cleaned out our last imported folder, moved our references into our created folder, and then created a bibliography from that. While this isn't a complete or comprehensive tutorial, I hope that it has covered the basics of what the user spends most of their time doing in RefWorks. There are other tools that you can use with Ref tool, RefWorks, like 
right inside and rep grab it. Informative and very useful. And please comment down below. Thank you.